The First Night in the Woods or Why Grandpa Don't Like No Scary Movies. You know that scary horror movie that you saw as a child? It's coming back the moment you set your foot in the wild. I know. Ha ha! You say. But just wait until the end of the day. Alf, Oompa Loompas, aliens, gremlins, the freaking omen, and the giant from Goonies, along with the gigantic woman, even the Jaws shark, will show up the moment it gets dark. If it is quiet, it will sound like a riot as you can hear them tiptoeing your way, and there is nothing you can do or say. The only way to get through the first night is to go to sleep clutching your flashlight. And you better hope that your bathroom tent is not too far away, unless you want to meet Chucky from Child's Play. Just the moment you calm your heartbeat, you remember snakes are drawn to heat. Let me tell you something. If you see a puff adder in Michigan, you will mutter, I'm never going camping again. But don't worry, they are only mildly toxic when they bite. That's assuming that Wikipedia is right. And if not the snakes, then the spiders come out at night because they are attracted to your light. They are the color of sand, so you won't see them on land. Unless you have a good flashlight and shine on their shiny butts, sometimes you find so many, it's nuts. But the most frightening thing are the woodland creatures, as each has deadly features. The bald eagle has very sharp claws and it will try to gently touch your head just because. Bats don't actually get stuck in your hair. They just land there to lick them like crazy. I swear. <laughs> and deer antlers are actually super sticky. If you stick to one of them, life gets tricky. I once heard a story about a hawk that crashed into a car like a rock. To this day, I kick myself that I didn't say, How awkward! It would then be a much better day. By far, the worst animals are the freaking bobcat and the creepy owl. One will hoot hoot, and the other growl. The bobcat will try to bite you in the butt. In their culture, that's a show of affection, and it is hard to deny that they make a connection. The owl, looking down from up in the air, gets seriously confused about balding man's hair. Unless the man has a hat, the owls will think that it's a plump rat and will swoop down and rip and tear. Halloween especially is the worst first night to camp. Unless you bring a headlamp.